Okay, here we're looking at a nice lineup of lighting options that we can use during the vegetative growth phase. So starting with a nice picture here, uh, there's no one set light for vegetative propagation or really any stage of the growth per se. Uh, many options can still be successful and the vegetative state probably offers the most opportunities for different types of lights. The key though in the vegetative state is a duration of lighting that you're using, how long or what's the photo period the plants are being exposed to. In general, lights can cover slightly more area during the vegetative phase than the flowering state. So just keep that in mind that if you're looking at the square footage of lights covering the vegetative, and look at transferring that over to the flower, we may be able to cover slightly more area at the vegetative state. Uh, fluorescent lights, while these may be beneficial for propagation, overall the PAR readings of these are not able to meet the demands of a growing plant. Since these lights must be kept very close to the leaves, it can limit the coverage area and also the penetration of light. That's why this was great for um, propagation or early on, and you can see some other lights here in the background for more the true growing phases when the plants get bigger. HPS, or high-pressure sodiums, are commonly used throughout the flowering phase of light, but can also be used as a vegetative light, as we see the plants here. If used as a vegetative um, phase, keep an eye on the distance your plants are from the light. You may want to treat, try to keep it around at least that two feet distance to ensure maximum power to the plants. This will help reduce the tendency of stretch. So some people put them very far away. Uh, because of the natural spectrum HPS is produced, it can induce a little bit more stretching. So if you keep them a little bit closer or right kind of at that minimum distance, you can help reduce the chance that they'll stretch. As a result, I suggest you put them on those ratchet hangers are strongly advised to allow you to keep kind of changing the um, distance that the lights are from the ceiling, maintaining that two feet from the plant. CMHs are ceramic metal halides, a great choice for the veg phase. This is a 215 here, uh, and this is a double-ended bulb here. This is over 600 watts just in this one light. Uh, it's close to the spectrum of natural sunlight, and this also produces UV light. It's a very efficient uh, par to watt ratio. So these are both very efficient lights in this category. They run cooler compared to other HID lights. The bulb has a relatively long uh, lifespan, about 20,000 hours, and still producing 80% of its original um, out-of-the-box rating. You should purchase everything, though, as a unit, even if it costs a little bit more, because these can have very specific requirements. Uh, the bulbs may not get along with different ballasts, so a lot of companies now are selling them all as one unit, and that would be advised to purchase everything together, so you're ensuring that everything works with one another. Uh, LEPs are light emitting plasmas. While they do produce a quality spectrum due to the cost of these in the co competition of ceramic metal halides entering the market, there's slight advantages, but overall it's overshadowed by the overall cost of these compared to ceramic metal halides. As a result, most growers are shifting over to the use of more ceramic metal halides and phasing out LEPs. Lastly, LED is a great uh, option for all phases of growth. All LED lights, though, are not the same. Uh, there's currently great variance uh, within this category. Quality LED lights that have all the benefits are often cost, cost prohibitive. So the better ones tend to be more expensive, and the cheaper ones tend not to be quite as good. As rate, this should be considered as an option, but compared currently to ceramic metal halides for grow operation, do they offer many of the same benefits, uh, but they can be at reduced uh, cost to run, reduced heat, but that upfront cost may make them out of reach for some growers.